Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mythical Dave, and welcome back to another video on Pixel and 3D, and today I am going to go do another weapon review, but this time I am going to do a comparison between the Railgun and the One-Shot. Now, both of these weapons are really amazing in my occasion, because, um, honestly, these are one-shot kills straight in the head, and, you know, they're, they're just really good, and, uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys are expecting that. We are going to go back to the sniper mode. Um, so, in that case, um, yeah, so first we're going to um, test out the uh, one shot. Um, it's a legendary, and so let's read its stats. It's a legendary, has the efficiency of 84, the sniper has fire rate of 53, and capacity for some mobility of 50 and power capacity is 33 single shots has a 10 times zoom and we go into the uh rail gun it has a fire rate of 67 it's a legendary uh it's capacity of 5 mobility 50 and power capacity 33 it's a single shots wall break it has a four times zoom and yeah it's the efficiency of 84 so we're gonna rock out with the uh one shot first and uh, let's see if it's actually a pretty good weapon instead of the railgun. So we're going to see about that into some sniper forts. And uh, let's just go to battle. Um, so here we go. Uh, we're just going to try test both of those weapons because they're really amazing. But I got to say, we're going to have to start up with the, um, with, um, the one shot so we're gonna spend about six minutes on the uh one shot and then we're gonna spend the other ha half of it with the um railgun so here we go we're gonna have to test this and it's not one of the best snipers i mean it's not the best sniper in the world it probably doesn't be like weapons like the overseer and stuff which is a pretty similar weapon to the one shot um and you don't generally get a lot of kills with this. If it depends if you're like a really talented player like that. You have to like pretty much aim for everything. Like we have a lot of players who use those weapons like the um, anti-champion. Those are like pretty much unstoppable weapons. Depends on how good you are like I said. And everyone seems to be dying in this match. Yeah, I keep on getting killed by the same person, but that doesn't matter because all we, we're here, what matters is to get kills, and I know there's a lot of players who don't miss a shot, but uh, that's okay, because the railgun pretty much does come more in handy, because you can actually shoot it more than, like, one time. I mean, like, that right there, I don't know how I'm missing my shot, but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna lie... I mean, I'm not going to lie that the um, one shot is probably not the best weapon to get sometimes. Because sometimes you miss your shot and then sometimes you don't miss your shot just like there for a sec. Uh, and yes, I know that a lot of weapons are definitely going to stand a chance. Like that weapon right there that that guy used, the prototype. And yeah, other people on your team might as well use the one shot too just to help you you know just get your video over with and you know that's technically what everyone has to do if they want but i mean they don't have to like be forced to do that but when it comes to the one shot the thing is it has four bullets but like it's not one of those weapons like it's not like a semi-auto weapon where it requires like four or three shots per um Per shot button like if you press the uh, firing button like four times and it'll shoot out for like 12 bullets or something like that 18 but I mean like at, at the time you will get a lot of kills with these weapons if you're a really talented player um and yeah you can also get or you can actually miss your shot a lot with this like me right here I'm missing my shot um which isn't really a big deal because the thing that's pretty much a big deal is to get kills. And, like, if you don't get kills with either one of these weapons, you will be really bad at sniping, guys. So, 
uh, it's it's more likely to get kills uh, more than not having kills because getting kills is most mostly the uh, main thing of pixel in 3d especially when it comes to sniping like there you got a multi kill at the very ending of that match and uh, yeah I could have scoped over there but it didn't really matter because all we just did was got one last kill at that time so uh, with that being said we're gonna have to move on to a railgun which uh, we did get a few kills uh, we're gonna have to leave this match over here and uh, we're gonna just gonna have to uh, hopefully uh, get this uh, real gun quickly and uh, yeah so anyways uh, the question is how's your guys day guys like right now I'm actually um, feeling a little bit hyped up for this because we're using uh, really OP snipers and uh, oh my god, my the the rail gun is gonna be like my, my favorite so far right now. I am gonna destroy everybody, like literally. Here we go, guys. Hope you guys are excited for this. Here we go. Let's not waste time. Let's go back to that sniper ports, and let's just enjoy this uh, weapon here. Trying to get some kills. Um, and I don't pretty much miss a shot with the. Uh, the railgun because one thing that's good about it, it's a wall break too and like i don't think nobody is pretty much gonna stand a chance other than like you just pretty much shooting them down i mean people like this guy over here who are using the uh prototype s will probably get a few kills if they're good at wall break but i mean i'm generally um not the best of wall break like over there, this guy right here uh, got a, a little quick uh, scope over there. And I don't think he killed me, but I'm not even sure. I didn't say that I got killed by him for some unknown reason. Um, yeah, see, people can already get that kill quickly. But, I mean, it all it, it all depends, guys. Depends if, like, you're a talented player, just like how he said. Because, um, you know, if you're not the best player, then you won't get a lot of kills. Lesson learned right there. I mean, like, with the railgun, you can quickly get, like, a double shot. Um, and yes, I know that there's going to be a lot of players that you think are going to have, like, hacking abilities and stuff. Like, that guy over there, he just got instantly, uh, a kill. But it's not really hacking. Um, the reason why is because they probably get OP weapons. Which, don't need to freak out because, you know, you will probably also get OP weapons too. Uh, like me right there getting a headshot, which, uh, the railgun really does come in handy when it comes to one-shot, uh, kills. So, you gotta be really, uh, cautious about getting your kills. And, uh, I mean, I could, like, get a little bit of a no-scope if I wanted to. Like, if I just shot in a random area, then that would be, uh, wonderful for you guys if you guys attempt to do it. I don't really recommend it, but if you want to, then, you know, you can do it. Um, and also guys, bear with me, I will get a lot of kills, um, so I'm just trying to shoot these guys down, uh, I thought I got uh, a little bit of, a uh, um, of an advantage to get those two other guys, but somehow I didn't, but that's okay, um, and yes, you will run out of ammo really quickly, like I said last episode, this is a, a really, uh, this is a weapon where you really gotta, like, be cautious when it comes to, like, using ammo. See, like, these guys, you're getting a whole bunch of wall break kills. Um, yeah, I'm guessing these guys are, like, pretty talented. If you guys are a really ta talented player, um, I would recommend, you know, those weapons right here. So, I can't really do anything else since I, uh, used all of my ammo. So, in that case, you gotta just use your pistol that the game gives you. Um, and I'm not even sure what the range of this gun is. I never used it, like, in years. Um, I don't think it has the range from that far. I mean, let me try if I can get... Oh, it does. Alright, so it's not the most powerful. But I don't know if this weapon is a little buffed up in this mode. Um, I gotta say, I, I don't know if it is or not. But all it depends just to get a whole bunch of kills. So, yeah, uh, that's all that matters. So, we're going to go into one final match, and then we should be good to go. Um, I'm not going to waste a lot of time. 
I've only been recording for 10 minutes right now. And 10 minutes have been going by, or has been going by a little bit quick. Um, so, um, in that case, we're just gonna have to go for a whole bunch of kills. Uh, people like this guy over here are gonna use these, like, one-shot kills too. Which could be a little bit pathetic, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it, it, it could be. But we still have these talented players that, um, like this guy over here. I don't know how he just shot me. So, we can just get a, a random no-scope. See, like, you gotta be really cautious, like that guy over there. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if, like, the game works like that, where you can just get that side, or, um, I, I, I don't know how it works, though. I think what this game try to make you think is that you go to the other team but you don't generally do that it's not what the game like or how the game works like that you just get the same team but that's just called the other team is just the rival team btw everybody should know that by now um and yes there's gonna be a lot of people who are horrible at this game but trust me they will get good later on uh like this guy right here he is just standing still right now um, yeah, we're out of ammo, so that is going to be a problem, because running out of ammo seems to be a bad thing. But instead of going for that guy, we can just go into these, uh, lucky kills right here. Um, we can just shoot this guy down if he is low. But, yeah, I will probably die because of this guy like, who was near, but didn't need to say that anymore. Um, I, he just got killed by one of our teammates, and... Generally, you will always get a pretty good team if you're really good at this game. Like, for example, this weapon over here can pretty much scope a little bit quicker than any other uh, weapons. But ever since they added this ability where you can actually uh, see an animation of you scoping, uh, it's a lot more slower to scope. But it's still pretty fast if you think about it. Um, that That's uh, the truth right there. Um... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I will probably die from this person over there. Um, I don't really care a lot because over here is just going for kills. Like, nothing else in that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know where this guy is. Uh, I can just technically go for lucky scopes. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of these annoying weapons that everyone's gonna use. Okay. But nope, they don't stand a chance. The Railgun still pretty much uh, defeats everybody. See, like that, we just got a random no-scope. Or not a no-scope, but just like a, ran uh, a random uh, wall break scope kill. Uh, whatever you want to call it, that's what I like to call it. And then we're still getting shot by the same guy over here. Yeah, there's a lot of pathetic players that still go after you. Even though this guy has won this little battle. You can just get... A random scope, see, like, I hit that guy, which he should be low. Hopefully this guy does not die. I mean, he did die, but... Yeah, anyways, there's also a lot of low people. Um, this guy is low. Okay, just go for this guy over here. We need to take this guy down. There we go, nice. We took him down. And yeah, there's a lot of people who actually always move. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to end that video there, guys. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like this video.